having looked at the basis or <laughs> multiple possible bases for ethical uh, decisions and standards uh, regardless of the basis an awful lot of people uh, make very common uh, ethical fallacies when they are doing ethical analysis and you know they're they're deciding whether something is right or wrong <laughs> I uh, pointed out some of them as uh, we were going through uh, the different uh, origins of ethics or, or potential origins um, and uh, you know those are fairly common mistakes but there's a number uh, that we see over and over again and particularly in uh, in regard to um, information security and computer intrusions um, uh, theft of information uh, so on and so forth um, <clears throat> so um, well you know if, if you talk to uh, the intruders uh, the crackers the uh, you know people stealing information people breaking into systems you will come across these again and again and again you will hear them over and over again and they have never you know they, they never do anything wrong there is always a reason why what they have done is not a problem um, it's not unethical it's not immoral um, beginning with uh, the computer is just a game. We're just we're just playing around. We're just you know we're not doing anything wrong. We're just fooling around. Uh, computer trespass is not trespass. Um, we we're you know we're having fun. We're exploring. Uh, these guys all uh, uh, think that you know as you know as long as you don't intend to hurt somebody there's no problem well you know, unfortunately you know the road to hell is placed with good intentions and uh you know even you if you think this this is fun um this makes life harder um it wastes resources it uh costs money to hire people like us uh, to do computer security when there are so many more interesting things that we should be doing or could be doing um, if only we weren't constantly forced to figure out whether this person breaking into a system is just having fun or if indeed they are trying to steal uh, something from the company um and, and sometimes, you know, I mean, even theft, they see as just having fun. You know, I don't really need this. I'm just, you know, seeing if I can do it. <sighs> yeah, right. Um, yeah, they, it's never their fault. Um, as a matter of fact, why, you know, they get caught by the police and, uh, you know, hauled in, arrested, uh, and... Uh, interrogation starts and and you know that right away there you know hey why are you bothering me I'm a law-abiding citizen I'm not doing anything wrong why aren't you out catching people who are actually doing bad stuff I'm not killing anybody even though I have broken into a hospital computer system and in fact uh, people's health uh, has suffered and, and possibly people have died because I have done that um, I'm not stealing anything even though I am you know copying uh, very expensive information or information that was very expensive to acquire in the first place and it's quite important to the business that uh, nobody else has access 
to this information. Uh, if somebody else has access to it uh, and publicizes it, that changes the value of you know, something that we have put resources and money and time and work into. And, uh, you know, but no, um, they're, you know, they're not doing anything wrong. They're, you know, nothing that they, they do is, is wrong. Um, as a matter of fact, it's our fault. It's our fault, the security people, because if we really wanted to ensure that nobody uh, could break into the computer, we would make it bulletproof. And, I mean, for those of us who work in this field, we know how difficult it is. That Well, bulletproof is impossible. Um, we, you know, there is no such thing as 100% security. And how much more security do we have to put in place because these little Twinkies are just playing around? Uh... And once again, going back to, to what I said before, there's other things that we could be doing. Um, it was interesting, I, I've mentioned before, that there was this uh, myth uh, that we in the uh, computer virus research community, um, uh, that, that we actually created viruses uh, so that we would have job security. And... I mean, it, it's hard to explain how wrong this idea was. We had this gut, visceral hatred for people who wrote viruses. You know, we had nothing to do. There was one guy who, um, he was a respected researcher until he got in an argument with somebody and decided to... Uh, write a virus as, as proof of concept for something that he was proposing we should be paying attention to. And, uh, you know, he had a point. We should have been paying attention to it. But he didn't have to write a virus and release the virus in order to prove that point. And we never spoke to him again. He was, he was out. He was no longer part of the community uh, by doing that. Uh, so, you know, we should have made it bulletproof. Yeah, huh. No such thing, and, and how much more work do we have to put into it? Um, as a matter of fact, we, you know, we just, we don't put any effort into it. It's, you know, breaking into your system is like taking candy from a baby. Obviously, these people have never had to care for babies. Uh, have you ever tried to take candy away from a baby that is not easy uh, so um, and of course these guys are all uh, they think they are descendants of the hackers um, now I, I mean you know there are uh, hacker uh, is not an automatic uh, statement that uh, you are breaking into computers. No, a hacker is somebody who is good with the technology, who can do things with the technology that other people can't do. And an awful lot of these intruders just can't. I mean, you know, they've got their scripts and their little pieces of information that they have been told about vulnerabilities, and that's what they do. But they are not the explorers that they, they assume themselves to be. Uh-uh, no. Mostly non-creative garbage. And uh, the interesting one, information wants to be free. That somehow, you know, they are helping information in its desire to be free. Um, look, I, you know, I am a security professional. Uh, I am an information scientist. I understand about information. And uh, believe me, if information wants anything... It wants to be dead. Um, we have to put so much effort into keeping uh, information available and accurate and all the work that we have to do there. No, you know, information does not want to be free. Uh, information wants to disappear, to degrade, uh, if it wants anything. So, uh, 
Um, yeah, I have no, no sympathy for the information wants to be free argument.